Hi there, William VE4VR here and uh, just going to cover a quick project I was working on yesterday. So what we have here is a laptop running uh, Linux and it has a DV dongle attached to it and what it's doing is it's using robotic process automation or otherwise known as uh, a robot running an application to control the DV tool application for Linux and connect it up to the uh, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, IBM Watson, or whatever else you want. So on this laptop, we have this DV dongle connected. Thanks, Dan, VE4DRK, for lending that to me. And what's going on here is this window is the DV tool uh, working with that dongle connected to the University of Manitoba D-Star repeater. And this code down there, that's just part of DV tool showing the status of what's going on. And then this window over on the right is actually the assistant and it's actually driving the whole computer. So what it does is it processes the audio streams and then it actually controls the DV dongle app just like a human would sit there. So it listens, it can bring up the links to reflectors uh, or repeaters and then it can hit the PTT button when it wants to talk to you. So what that means is this can attach Google, Amazon, Watson or whatever you like to any D star on the whole planet. So here I'll show you how it works now. So I've got my radio on 443275, which is VE4 UMR D star in Winnipeg. And if I key up, we're going to see this over in this window detect the wake word, hey D star, if all goes well. And keep in mind, this is still hitting a local repeater, so it could have, uh, you know, R2D2 in the audio and cause it to not work correctly. But let's give it a try. This is VE4 VR, and I can see that it's receiving the audio there, hey D star. And now I see the wake word's been detected right here. What is the weather forecast in Winnipeg today? And I can see it processing that audio. And it should hit the PTT. In Winnipeg today, it will be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of 11 and a low of 3 degrees Celsius. Currently, it's 3 degrees and mostly cloudy. So what it's doing is the the DV tool application it already handles everything you need to interface with D star repeaters and stations why rewrite that you don't need to reinvent the wheel you just need to control it so this assistant window is performing uh, UI actions against the DV tool application so it can start DV tool it can connect to the USB it can read the interface it can say okay connect and disconnect and then hit the PTT so it moves the window to the corner here every time it needs to use it then it reads the window and operates the application and if it wants to restart the app it can do that and that's how it works so now that you've got voice control tied up with something really easy like this is literally just DV tool and DV dongle being remote controlled by another app now we can control things of course too so uh, this is VE4 VR testing hey D star Let's see if it heard me. Yeah, it did. Detected keyword. Repeater status. It should talk to me now. That's slow. Not connected. To connect to a reflector, say connected and the reflector number of name. All right. So there you have it. And uh, this is only one flavor of doing digital, but this setup here can actually connect to, I guess, XRF or anything, which means you can connect it to the whole planet. I'm also working on the uh, the Northwest Digital Radio DV stick, which is the MB3000, whereas the DV dongle is the MB2000. So this is older hardware, but I thought this was neat and worth sharing. That's it. VE4VR is out.